the 6th of October 2017 2.121 views be worth a fart at Jakarta and Ara news despite Mount Agung being active, it has not yet erupted, but news reports on it have deterred several foreign tourists. Tourism industry is the backbone of Bali's economy. Bali has set a target to attract 5.5 million foreign tourists this year. The number of foreign tourist arrivals in Bali from January to August 2017 had reached 3.99 million, an increase of 25% as compared to that recorded during the same period last year. However, lately, hotels in Bali have reported several cancellations of room reservations due to the increased volcanic activity of Mount Dagong. In response to news reports, Bali Governor Made Mangu Pasika has convinced tourists to visit the resort island without hesitation, adding that it remains safe and conducive despite the increased activity of Mount Dagong, which is located in Karangasam District, Bali Island. The governor made assurance during a meeting with tourism stakeholders, such as travel operators, in Denpasar, Bali, on October 3. If Mount Dagong erupts, it will have a direct impact on only 28 villages located within a radius of 12 kilometers from the volcano's crater. Bali's main tourist attractions, such as Nusa Dua, Kuda, and Sanur, are situated tens of kilometers from the location of the mount, he added. He said Karangasam has 78 villages, of which only 28 villages could be directly affected. The remaining 50 villages and other tourist destinations in Bali will remain safe. Therefore, do not hesitate to visit Bali, except for climbing the mount, which will be forbidden as it is dangerous, Pastica explained. Besides, the current condition is different from how it erupted in 1963. Indonesia now has better disaster mitigation measures and more sophisticated information technology that could minimize the number of casualties and damages in case of eruption, he asserted. Therefore, I would like to reaffirm that Bali would be safe and there is nothing to be worried about. All arrangements have been already made in case of an eruption, he reiterated. The government has planned to hold a meeting with foreign consuls in Bali in order to eradicate misinformation and disinformation or hoax regarding the current situation. Another assurance was given by Tourism Minister Ari Fiavia, who told the international public that Bali remains safe for visits, despite the alert states of active Mount Agong. Bali remains safe for touristic visits by both domestic and foreign visitors. We have taken various anticipatory measures and are well prepared in case of an eruption, he said on October 5. He stated that only very few areas would be affected by the volcano's increased activities, while a large number of tourist destinations in Bali would be safe. Besides, the Indonesian government has been experienced in handling eruptions of volcanoes. If Mount Dagong erupts, then the government would apply similar measures it did when Mount Rong in Banyuwangi, East Java, erupted. In the case of Mount Agong, the government has prepared three options concerning accessibility, accommodation, and attractions for tourists. In case Bali's Nagira Rai International Airport has to be closed due to volcanic gases, the Transportation Ministry has prepared alternative airports in East Java and Lombok West Nusa Tenggara and a lot of buses to transport passengers to those airports. The accessibility for domestic and foreign tourists has been anticipated in case of the worst, he remarked. Some 300 buses would take passengers to Priya International Airport in West Nusa Tenggara or to Wanda International Airport in Surabhan, East Java. Various options have also been prepared for tourists unable to leave their hotels or surrounding areas. Deputy District Head of Karangasum Iwayan Artha Dipa has said that Basaki and Tulamban are among tourist attractions in the district, that being closed to the public due to increased activities of Mount Dagong. However, Karangasum district, where Mount Agong is located, still has many tourist attractions located quite far from the volcano, which would remain open to the public. The tourism ministry did not deny a report that the number of foreign tourists has dropped by 100,000 people, of 20% of the total 500,000 foreign visitors per month. Meanwhile, the Association of Indonesian Hotels and Restaurants PHRI has predicted that some 70,000 foreigners would postpone visits to the resort island during the October-November period due to intensified activities of Mount Dagong. We have collected data on guests who had planned to come for meetings and others. There would be a decrease in the tourist arrival by 20%, or some 70,000. TJ Okwarda Oka Artha Ardana Sukawati, chairman of the association's Bali chapter, stated on October 3rd. The data were collected from several hotels in Bali and not all hotels, he noted, adding that most of the postponements came from tourists of meetings, incentives, conferences, and exhibitions mice category.
He explained that the alert status of Mount Agung was directed to people living within a radius of 12 kilometers from the volcano's crater, while tourist destinations beyond the radius were considered safe. October is usually the peak season for tourism industry in Bali. The hotel occupancy rate is 65% at the average in Nusa Du area, Badung district. Mount Agong is located in Karangasam district. No country has issued a travel warning so far. However, a travel advisory has been released by the United States, Australia, Britain, Singapore, and New Zealand. Records since 1800 reveal that Mount Dagong had experienced four mega eruptions respectively in 1908, 1823, 1843, and 1963. More than 1,000 people had died when Mount Dagong last erupted in 1963. Mount Dagong has been rumbling since August, with an increase in the magnitude of tremors, though the volcano has not erupted so far. The volcano is located on the resort island of Bali, but it is quite far from the island's main tourist destinations, such as Kuta Beach, which is some 75 kilometers away. Several key Balinese destinations, such as Tanalot, Bulawatu, Lake Barat and Bedugal, Tampax Iring Palace, Bali Safari and Marine Park, Garuda Visnu Kankana, Sanar and Kuta Beaches, Tanjung Benoa, Goa Gaja, and Nusa Panita, are quite far from the volcano and not affected by the increase in volcanic activity at Mount Dagong.